Hello and welcome to another Hades tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be making a cool underwater image like this. This will be the outcome. Uh, you won't need much requirements. All you need is uh, render to put in the background and uh, some bubble textures. Uh, I'll leave uh, the resources for this here in the description if you want to follow it along. Uh, just a heads up, I was very tired whenever I made this so I'm probably going to be tripping over my tongue a lot of times and it'll not make sense but I'll try my best. Anyway, so let's get to work. So we make a new document, and which is a width of 600 and a height of 450. Uh, click OK. Uh, get a gradient bucket too. And for the colors we'll choose like a dark green, green and blue. Uh, it's going to do it. This side is going to be 062736. And the other side is going to be like a bright green, and it's going to be 7BFC9. And click OK. And then we click and drag and bring it up to the top by press and hold shift so it snaps vertically. And release it then. And um, now it's time to make some um, the top of the water. So we make a newly on top of that, and we will go filter, render, clouds. And we again we will go filter, render, difference clouds. Now we're going to change this a few times. So we press and hold Control and press F about two or three times. Are you happy with the texture? You, uh, you have a texture that you like. Uh, that one looks okay. No, no that one looks like that. And um, we now we go into our filter gallery now, and um, we will go into our artistic settings, and we choose plastic wrap, and um, we set the highlighted strength to 12, the detail to 9, and the smoothness to 7. Um, we're going to change the the uh, layer style to linear dots. And um, next we go edit, transform, distort, and drag up one of our corners, our bottom left corner, bottom right. So this is going to be narrower now. Something like that there. And see these lines here, you don't want them, so we're going to get rid of them. So we mask off that, so we click this icon like, here to get a mask. Oops. And then we get a brush tool, and make sure it's black. And I need to increase the flow, uh, choose the flow about 50. And it's going to be a soft brush at around. Around 150 pixels. 14 right now. I'll just get rid of that next. So when you're happy you have the, the top you like, you we're gonna duplicate this now. And we click on our move tool and we click show transform controls. And we're gonna rotate this now 180 degrees. This is gonna be our floor or our ground. Play the transformation and we're gonna drag this right down to the floor. The button and see in the dark here, and you can see bits that I messed up the top where the lines are. So, we're going to need to mask that off again. So, we just click over on our mask and we've got a brush tool again. And we just finish off bits that we missed at the top. So you can't really see it up there, it's too bright. And now we'll set this uh, layer side to color dodge and load the opacity. Just a little bit, minus 70. So this is the the background of the water, nearly done. So now we're going to bring in our render. I leave all these resources in the the description on YouTube, so um, you can follow it along if you want to. But we we'll duplicate our render, and we'll hide the bottom up for a second, and we we'll place in it wherever we want. The size down, and there it looks fine for me. Um, now we're going to duplicate this render again and we're going to press control and click on the thumbnail for the layer and it will select the whole um, render now we're going to fill this with black and the command for that is control backspace but it depends on your background colour mine's white so then press control I to invert it and you can deselect that and you can select deselect um, we're going to blur this, so we go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and set the amount to about 10. And we're going to click control, uh, show transform controls again, and we're going to just grab our top and flip it right down to that, and rotate it, so it looks like a shadow on the ground there. 
and we decrease the opacity of this effect. And we're in 20. 20 looks okay there. Okay, now it's now time for some light, so we make a new game on top of this. And we will get a marquee to it. And we're gonna make a box like this. Not the whole thing. And when you have it selected, make sure it's new there as well. And we're gonna go filter, render. I'm gonna play the clouds again. And we will go filter again. And we will go render, difference clouds. And press Control F a couple of times. And we're gonna deselect it now. Then we're gonna blur this. So we go filter, blur, and which is radial blur. And we set the amount to 100, the blur method to zoom and the quality at best. And we're going to drag this right up to the top, and to the middle of the top. And click OK. Now you choose uh, layer style of linear dodge. And you can see it kind of gives a shine from the water. But it's not actually going up, so we're going to actually stretch up. Like that. That's all right there. Now if there's bits that's too that's too bright and uh, you want to get rid of bits, so we're going to we're going to mask it off. So we'll make a mask on top of that and we we'll get a brush again. And I'm gonna lower the flow of this a bit as well. And choose a bigger brush. So I'm gonna mask off a little bit. And this is just too strong. It looks okay there. Now, actually, actually, uh, my shadow was actually a bit too dark so, or too visible, so I'm going to lower my opacity a little bit more. But 19 inch just for. Um, now we're going to go back down to our, our hidden render layer, the first one we had. And we're going to unhide it. And we're going to go filter. And um, filter gallery. And we're going to choose distort. And choose ocean ripper. Um, we set the ripple size to 15 and the magnitude to 4. I click OK. Now we're going to set the layer style to lighten. Um, we're going to lower the opacity to about 19. Um, duplicate this a couple times. Now we're going to hide our top one, so I'm going to work on the bottom one for now. And you see, you don't want the actual, uh, to make sense of what the image is. This is for texture in the water. So we're going to mask off bits that stands out. So we make a get another mask, and we get a brush. And I'm just going to decrease the size of the brush a little bit. And start masking off bits that stand out that you can make shapes out of. So you don't want to make out them shapes. And we're going to do the same with the next layers. But we're going to move around now, so you don't want them all in the same spot. Some texture everywhere. That one, that one looks alright there, it doesn't need to be masked. The next one, and you can rotate it around like you don't need to have it all the same way. Going to mask it a little bit more off the bottom one. Now, we were going to bring in some bubbles now. So, um, what one will I use first? This one here. So, we place in our bubble uh, texture. And this one's a huge double texture, so I'm going to shrink it down. And set to linear dodge. It's actually still a little bit too big. Oh. There it looks that way. And we're going to use this once or twice, so we're going to uh, duplicate it. Uh, for three times, just and hide the top ones. And go back down to this one, and move around the place where you'd like to be. There it looks that way. And erase bits that you don't want. So you don't want them covered in bubbles. Now 
Now, we'll lower the opacity of this layer now. Just about. Twenty in round out. Why you chose twenty two? Um, we do the same with these. I'm just moving from round until you're happy with it. What way to look? And last time. set this in your dodge as well and I'm just going to do the same thing with the other bubbles but I'm not going to lower the opacity of this one I'm going to duplicate it I don't want that big bubble there, it stands out so I'm just going to raise it now I actually meant to do this earlier, see the way we're going to make a shadow on the ground from, from where the light's going to be bouncing or hiding now. A render. So we've duplicated a render. And we'll go to a render here and duplicate it. And we're going to press control and hold it and click on the thumbnail for that layer. So it selects the whole render. And we're going to fill this with black. And we deselect now. And we're going to blur it a little bit. So we go blur, filter blur, and choose Gaussian blur. And set the amount to 10. Um, we'll go to a move tool and click show, show, show transform controls and we'll drag it down a bit and we'll just flip it like and play the image I'm just going to rotate it a little bit and load the opacity it's about 19 It's not a big shadow, just a small one. And now we're going to shade out uh, a little bit of the edges. So we make a new layer and we get our brush tool and choose black. I'm going to increase the flow now up to 100% and uh, choose a bigger brush in round. Well, that's too big. In round 200, 250. And just go like this here. Shade out. Of this. Like that, that looks alright. And now we're going to work with some applied images. So we make a new layer, then we go image, apply image, and click OK. And we're going to go into a filter gallery again, and we're going to choose Ocean Ripper, and use the same sentence, and click OK. We're going to load the opacity now to about 50 and mask off the bits that you don't like I'm just going to mask off bits around the round up because I don't want it to be too texture around now and we'll do one more applied image and we we'll go filter into the filter gallery again and we'll choose glass and we'll choose a distortion of 8 a smoothness of 11 and a scaling of 168 and click OK now we're going to load the opacity just down a good bit 25 and again mask off our I'm just going to decrease the flow of this and mask off a little bit that's on the render and I'm just going to add some adjustment layers oh. so we click on our adjustment layers and we choose uh, gradient map and we're going to choose black to white and set this to luminosity and just slow the opacity down to about 70 and again we will go uh, make a gradient map and this time we will choose like a dark blue bluey green there and a brighter one this time and we lower the opacity of this down a good bit it's about 15 Right now. 
and again we go into our adjustment layers and we go color lock up this time and we choose what was it again yeah fog night and we load the opacity of it a little bit So right there. Now what I meant to do earlier is just blow out the edges of the the, the render. So what I'm gonna do is I'm making I'm making a play image and I get my blow too and I'm just gonna zoom in just close this view box and just blow out the edges of the render. You can blow out that for a good bit, it's gonna be in the, the distance, the back feet. Zoom out now, and now we're going to make a new layer and apply the image. And we'll go filter, blow, and we will just go normal blow, and we will mask off our render. And now we'll make a new layer again, but this time we're going to sharpen it. So we go filter, sharpen, sharpen. And uh, we'll go edit and we'll just fade the sharpen a little bit. It's about 50. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's how you make it. So, you've reached the end of the tutorial, guys. Here's the icon. I just slapped on a little bit of text. Uh, I hope you understood me <laughs> and uh, you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions at all, uh, don't be afraid to drop me a mail. And uh, that's it. Bye bye.